government to appeal 20 billion naira awarded by court for Sunday Igbo, Anthony General Malami. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> The federal government will appeal the judgment of an Oyo State High Court, which awarded 20 billion naira in damages against the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and the Department of State Services, DSS. According to News Agency of Nigeria, the AGF, Abubakar Malami, San, announced the decision of the federal government to appeal the judgment while speaking on the development in an interview on Friday. The suit bordering on breach of fundamental human rights was brought by the Yoruba Nation activist Sunday Adeyomo, more commonly called Sunday Igbo, to the court. The court sitting in Ibadan, Oyo State, awarded 20 billion naira in damages against the AGF and the DSS over the alleged invention of the residents of Sunday Igbo on July 1st this year at the Suka area of Ibadan, the Oyo State capital. Malami said that efforts were already being made to commence the process of appealing the judgment. Nan records that Igbo's counsel, Mr. Yomi Haleo San, had filed a 500 billion naira fundamental human rights enforcement suit against the AGF, the DSS, and the director of the DSS in Oyo State over the incident. Aliyu also claimed that his client's house and cars were damaged while two occupants of the house were killed by security agents during the incident. But counsel to the AGF, Mr. Adulai Abubakar, had urged that there was no evidence before the court that the blood seen in the video clip tended by Haliyu belonged to a human being. Abubakar also said that there were nothing in the video clip that showed that the house that was invaded belong, belonged to Igbo or linked the AGF with the invention. He had urged the court to disregard the exhibit and dismiss the entire suit. <laughs> the counsel to the DSS, Mr. T. A. Nurudin, alleged with the submission made by the counsel to AGF, insisting that there must be proof from a hematologist to show that the blood seen in the video belonging to a human being. <laughs> Nurudin also tendered a video clip which was admitted by the court where Igbo allegedly threatened to create an Oduduwa Republic while urging the Yoruba to protect themselves with charms and guns. However, delivering his judgment justice, La Ridon Akintola said the style and procedures adopted by the DSS during the incident was unprofessional. Akintola said that the applicant had demonstrated to the court that his fundamental right to personal liberty, right to life, and blocking of his account amounted to evaluation of his fundamental rights. He awarded 20 billion naira to the Yoruba Nation uh, activist Sunday Adeyomo, also known as Sunday Igbo. <laughs> well, let's let's see how it goes. Let's see how they are going to play this board. They should not forget that God is watching. Every one of us, anything you are doing today, they will come, you give account to it. Even all these ones, they are trying, you know, to paint the, the case or whatever. They know what happened. And the DSS, they knew what they did. But coming to the court to come and change the narration is, <laughs> is not going to be the end of the life. They know. Their conscience is telling them what we did was wrong. But they, they, they don't want to follow that line. Anyway, let's see how it goes. Guys, I'm going to drop it here. Kindly hit the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Also, click on the notification button for more updates. Thank you very much for always stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Bye for now.